So if you guys didn't know, playing the Hermes game probably is one of the hardest things to do. Especially starting out because, you know, you can't just walk in a store and be like, hey, can I get a Birkin? I have the money. Here's my $10,000. Can I get a Birkin? Can I get a Kelly? You can't do that. So, you know, you got to play the game. You got to go in there and buy a little bit of this, buy a little bit of that. And I've been doing that because I think I'm finally ready to do a big girl thing and get a Birkin or a Kelly. Hey guys, it's your girl Liana. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Liana. I post new videos every single week. Go watch some older videos so we can get a little bit more familiar with each other. We can get better well acquainted. You're probably going to like it here anyway, so smash that subscribe button right there. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. It's been a, it's been a minute. I'm sorry, but I'm back. So, like I just said before, I have been playing the Hermes game and I'm being very strategic with how I'm doing it. Like, I literally have a note section in my phone of, you know, what my pre-spend is currently, how much I've been spending every single month, and what is on my wish list items. Like, wish list to buy before, like, in a cumulative to the pre-spend, my wish list is things that I'm going to buy, which will help me towards the goal of a Birkin R. Kelly very very strategic because i don't want to fall trap into you know buying pieces that i actually don't like nor want like if i wasn't buying it for the chance to buy a birkin would i really want it no and if the answer is no i'm not gonna buy it because i feel like they can also tell like your store your associate can definitely tell when you're just buying stuff to buy it and you're not being like mindful of you know the actual purchases that you're making so i've been very mindful and I have a breakdown. I've started in February. And if you guys did not start in February, I actually have an unboxing on the channel as well of when I got the Brider Brock. And when I got this, that's when I actually knew I was ready to start the journey. Because I actually did not buy this in store. I actually had to order this online because it's always sold out in store. Um, and it's always sold out online too. So I don't know. I don't know how I was able to get this, but I was. I'll leave this link up above if you want to see the unboxing for it. But... I always would recommend try to source it in store before because you know that still builds a relationship with your essay. I'm kind of on the fence about telling you guys how much my pre-spend is right now. I'm not really sure if I want to share that. At least I won't share it in this video. So if you are interested in knowing how much the pre-spend is, maybe I'll share this pre-spend and how much I spent towards a Birkin R. Kelly once that moment comes and I do have one to show you guys. So maybe I'll tell then because I feel like I'm a little bit uncomfortable showing how much I've already spent. It's not much. It's really not much I've only been doing this one two three three months so far so it's really not much but still when you see the money jumbled up it's like ooh, I could have I could have did something else with that money so like I mentioned before I started my journey my journey in February and that's when I got the Bride of Rock case that I ordered online and then July and August I've made two purchases um with one essay and I want to give you guys actually a backstory on how I got introduced to my current essay Let's go let's go a whole bunch of a backstory actually. Let's let's talk about how this all started. This all started when <laughs> it started in February when I ordered that bag and I shipped it to the store instead of shipping it online because I knew I kind of wanted to go in there and see, you know, a feel of all of the essays that they have and I just wanted them to see my face, you know? And I was also nervous about sending it to the house because I didn't know how the shipping was and I didn't want to say Hermes and then someone thinks it's something very expensive and steal it or something like that. So I shipped it to store. Yes, I that I met when I picked up that bag. I actually did like her. We vibed. Um, she gave me her card, but I'd never seen her again after that. So I'm like, dang, what happened to her? I don't know. Anyways, fast forward a couple months later, I think in like April or May, um, I was still working my full-time job. In, in person I should say because I still have a full-time job but it's not in person anyway in person and I think I talked about this before I was an animal nutritionist yada 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 I had a woman come into the store and you know we were she was buying stuff for her son's dog and I noticed she had an Hermes Picatin the a black one with silver hardware and I was like oh my god you have a Picatin blah, 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 blah. you know we start chit chatting about luxury and Hermes because I love those stuff hello I love those stuff and she was like, oh my god, I could talk about this for days and days and days. And I asked her what location she was shopping in. And it was the same mall that's local to me. So I was like, oh, like you got offered a bag there. And she was like, yeah, I just got offered like a mini Kelly and like some crocodile exotic leather. And she showed it to me. I was like, oh my god, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. She's the first woman I actually heard a success story and being offered something in that store. So I was like, okay, this is a big deal. She must, you know, she's a big time woman kind of thing. So, you know, she's like, oh my God, you can come with me to the mall. You can meet my essay. Let's, let's, let's do it. At that time, was I ready to start my journey? No. 
what did I have the money to start the journey no so I'm like okay I sat on it for a few months and I'm just like dang maybe I should reach out to her maybe I should reach out to her and then I finally did and that was in July I reached out to the woman because we exchanged phone numbers and I was like hey um I don't know if you remember me my name is Liana we met yada 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 she's like oh my god of course of course I'm actually going to our meds this week do you want to come and I was like whoa I wasn't expecting that response so fast I'm like do I want to come I'm like okay sure uh I'm off work on Thursday sure let's go so we met at the mall great vibes that's what led to my purchases that i made in july so i'm actually going to share those purchases with you now so this is july's purchase it's a big bag what do you think is in it i'm gonna give you five seconds what do you think could be in this big bag one two three four five did you cast your votes down below what do you think is in there my best friend is having a baby she's due in september and i thought you know let me get something for the baby of course let me get something for the baby and i've been eyeing this for a while and i knew that i did want to get this for my best friend so and that is what i did her baby shower is literally next week sunday and i i know how to rewrap this so i'm gonna show you guys but i'm not gonna post this video until after the baby shower in case she watches it and then you know blows her own surprise so yes they put it in this box you know the beautiful orange box with the brown red ribbon the orange box taking off the lid white tissue paper I'm gonna make this like really perfect so that I don't ruin it this is like a little gift note I don't even think I wrote that up yet so I'm gonna write that up I got the baby an Hermes washcloth very very cutesy Honestly, these are like adult size washcloths. I feel like an adult can use this. Um, so she probably gonna be using that for a long time. Or maybe the baby probably won't even use it. Maybe she'll like wait till she's a little bit older. And then I got the Hermes towel. How cute is this little towel for a baby girl? Obviously it's pink, so she's having a girl. But it's so cute. It's so, 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 so cute. And I was thinking about filming a video of everything that I got her because I got her something else too, but it's not her mess, so I'm not going to include it in this video. But I got her this, and I love it. I know that she's going to love it, and she's not going to be expecting it, so it makes it even better. And I was going to buy her a great gift anyway because it's my best friend, so I was like, you know what? What better way to start the journey than now? And then, honestly, while in the store, I'm like, ooh, I'm going to start the journey and not get myself anything. Like, I want to get myself something. I picked up the Hermes lip oil don't mind my nails but it's a lip oil and it's really cute I got it in this bright vibrant orange color this is what it looks like it says like Hermes Paris there and it also says it down there and it has the horse can't really see it, but it has the horse logo there and it's an orange color and I got it specifically in orange because I knew like you know kind of on brand for the brand and then also I didn't want a color that was not going to be pigmented at all I wanted to have some kind of pigment the only thing I can say is the smell is very weird I'm gonna put some on right now like do you see that orange it, like it's actually opaque you can actually see the orange and I like that what I will say is the the smell is a little weird the smell is a little weird. It is very hydrating, but the Doa applicator, it's almost like it was meant for someone with smaller lips, which it probably was. And I don't have the biggest lips, but you gotta like dunk in there a couple of times to actually get the pigment and the gloss on your mouth. So I don't know if I would buy another one. I did see one like in a purpley plum color, which I feel like would be pretty for fall. But I haven't decided if I want to get that yet because this is $59, so... I mean, I feel like it's still around the same ballpark as, you know, the Dior lip oils and stuff like that. But as a Jamaican would say, because, you know, I'm Jamaican, I was just a bad mind. I mean, I did want to get something for myself. I get something for the baby, I mean, I want to get something for myself. That's really what it boiled, it boiled down to. I got something for the baby, and I felt like I want to spend some money on myself, too. So that's why I got this. And that was of the first shopping trip in July. I actually went another time in July, and I got something else because my niece's birthday is also in July. It's the end of July, July 30th. And this was her 21st birthday. And me and my sister, we were like, what do you want? What do you want for your birthday? What do you want for your birthday? She was like, um, she wanted a bottle of perfume. Uh, I think it's a Tiffany necklace that she wanted and a 
a mesh pair of Aran sandals. So I'm like, okay. And I, I texted my sister literally why she said that. I'm like, we can go half on the slippers. And that leads to the second bag. Another orange box. Obviously, she's already had them, so she's unboxed them herself for her birthday. But the orange box, the brown ribbon is in there as well. Oh, she has her receipt and her ribbon right here too. And then, you know, you get your two dust bags. I feel like every girl has these. If you don't have these, are you really that girl? I have them as well, but, you know, just the the white Oran sandal. But, yeah, that's what we got her for her birthday. And that is what I bought in July. So, I got the towel, the lip gloss, uh, the wash rag, and these slippers all purchased in July through the sales associate that I met with the friend. So then I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to, again, be really strategic with how I'm spending my money. And then August rolled around and I had another friend who's um, graduating from nursing school. So what she did already, woohoo. I'm like, okay, I got to get her something. And I'm like, you know what? What does she love? I'm going to get her a fragrance. And like I said, the graduation has already passed. Um, so I, I don't have it here to show you guys, but I have one for myself, different smells, but I'll still show you like what the bottle kind of looks like. So, and I'll also in insert a picture. I got her the Hermes Twilly and I have the Hermes perfume in, um, I have it in U Povery? Girl, don't have me lying here. I don't know how to pronounce that, but this is the bottle. It's really, really cute. And the one that I got her, I'll have it somewhere linked on the screen. It's Hermes Twilly. So it kind of, it has, it looks like this, but it's like more of a lighter fragrance. And I actually think I have that fragrance now on my list to buy myself because it really did smell good. And I knew that she would like it. Oh, this was my second time meeting with her again by myself. And then we started vibing at this appointment. That's when I was like, okay okay we're moving things along here because then she started talking to me talking to me about you know her personal life so she has a dog that she rescued hello animal nutritionist yeah you see i feel like that's all it's about like you have to build a relationship with the essay i was like oh well, yeah next time i come in i'll bring your dog samples of stuff people love their dog i love my dog my dog is literally my child so i know I just finally broke the ice like we finally have something to genuinely bond over and after she helped me wrap up the perfume and everything like that she's like is there anything that you're looking for for yourself I'm like um not necessarily but again like I mentioned I have a list of things that I'm willing to purchase that I actually want from the brand and it is an Hermes chain ring I'll also include a picture of it I purchased it uh, we tried on so many different sizes in store I have very odd fingers it's like they're short but they're chunky but they're not fat I don't know like but I still have a slender knuckle I don't know how to describe my hand but so we were going through so many so many ring sizes and their ring sizes are different it's not like six eight four and a half it's not it's not numbered like that they were like uh 42 58 stuff like that I guess what is that European side sizes I'm not sure but we finally found a size that worked it worked for my middle finger and my pointer finger it was a size 58 and I was like okay yes I want it we bought it and when I got home the same day, I'm like, you know what? I feel like I rushed this. And I'm like, you know, if I wash my hands and I have soap on my hands, this ring is going to fall off my finger. So I'm like, you know what? I need to size down. And then I decided, like, you know, I have to bring it back. We have to exchange it. Da, 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 da. My essay is currently on vacation, but I did return it yesterday. So I have a credit now with Hermes. So when she comes back from vacation, I'm going to rebuy the ring because I do want the ring. I just need a smaller size. So now for August, I got the perfume for my friend, the ring for myself. And that's probably going to conclude my August shopping so far um, because I'm trying to do, like I said, on a monthly basis. My birthday is in December. I don't think that I would be offered a Birkin or Kelly by December. But you really never know because it's not about how much you spend. It's really the relationship that you build. So I'm not sure. Do I have the money saved up to even buy one or be mentioned buying one for December? No. So the goal is to be, um, be offered one for Valentine's Day. And if not by Valentine's Day, then maybe like at least one year from me starting the journey. And I want to say I officially started I'm gonna say July because even though I got that in the bridal rack in February it doesn't count because I bought it online even if it takes a year if I get offered one next July I'll be happy with that but yeah literally 
I keep saying it over and over and over. I am very strategic with my purchases. And you know, everyone says ready to wear um, and home decor, stuff like that is the easiest way to be offered one. I literally have a wish list of things that I'm going to buy. I don't want to show you guys my wish list because like, no. But I have things that I'm going to buy on here that is going to, you know, set me up for, for success. Um, here's a, I, do I want to tell you guys what I'm going to buy next? I really don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, I decided I don't want to share with you guys what I'm going to buy next. I want to keep you coming back to watch my journey as I, you know, unbox the things that I do purchase along the way. So I'm not, I'm not going to sh tell you guys and share what I want to purchase next. I forgot to mention too, on the last trip that I just purchased the stuff for August, um, we did talk about like certain things like what do I want and stuff like that. I didn't even mention a Birkin R. Kelly because like we're just not there yet. I don't want to just throw those two names out there and you know, then she's like, she falls back or something from me or something like that. So I was just like, oh, if you ever come across like another bridal rack, can you just let me know? She's like, what size do you want? I'm like a small, um, in a fun color. I'm like, I have a navy one. And realistically, I bought the navy one because it was the only one available at the time. But I would really love like the linen shade one or pink. Because they have like one with that's pink and orange. I love those two. So I'm looking for those if you can get one. She was like, you know, we haven't seen it in a while, but I'll keep my eye on it for you. I'm like, okay, absolutely. Great. So I feel like me and her are finally bonding and I think I like her. I think I really, really do like her. I have high hopes for our journey. I hope that, you know, it eventually turns into something beautiful. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, right now, these are probably my favorite kinds of video to watch. I love watching other women on their journey and I like, you know, picking up tips and tricks and see what they're buying and what are they spending, stuff like that. And if you want to see my journey, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so you can, you know, be notified of when I post next. And if you are not tired of seeing my face, click on another video on the screen and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.